Zoo cleans up. Grandpa, Grandpa, who's got the tidiest town? We have. Well, we will when we get tidying. Ready, Grandpa? I'm ready, <laughs> but we're going to have to do a lot of good tidying up work to win the tidiest town competition. I tell you what, I'll treat us both to a zing bar if we do a good job. Zing bars? Ah, oh, yum! They're my favourite cereal bars. Mine too. Come on, let's go and join the clean team. <laughs> Excellent turnout. We'll have the town smartened up in no time. OK, everyone, take what you need. We've got litter pickers, brushes, mops. <laughs> <laughs> Pock wants to help too. so far. I'm off to check the edge of the park. I'll see you all later. I think we better stay where we are, Zoo. There's plenty of tidying to do here. You're right, Grandpa. <laughs> hey, let's see who can pick up the most litter by the time we get over there. OK, Zoo, you're on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you're the speediest litter pickers in town. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> I think I'm winning, Pock. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Zillia! Hi, Zoo. Mm. Hello, Zoo. Hello, Zoo. Oh, uh, have you come to join the clean team? You'd be very welcome. No, we're looking for my zing bar prize wrapper. I lost it. I won a Zola doll with it, but I can't get it without the wrapper. Ah, I see. It was in my pocket, but I've lost it, and now I can't get my doll and... Never mind, Zinny Pops. <laughs> we'll get you a much nicer dolly. I I've seen some lovely ones in that big department store near the... But I want Zola! You can't buy her, you can only win her. And she walks and talks, and she's got her own wardrobe, and loads of shoes, and... Oh, I may have picked it up already. Really? Uh, oh... Sorry, Zinnia. Oh, No wrappers here either, Zinnia. <sighs> or in my bag. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Zinnia. It's gone forever. I won the doll. It's not fair. Thank you all for looking anyway, and we'll just have to keep looking. You could help tidy up the town while you're at it too, if you like. No, I'm sorry. We're rather busy at the shop. We only came out to see if we could find the wrapper. We even went to Mr Zoe's to buy another one, but he sold out of zing bars. Oh, well, um, <laughs> in that case, uh, you, you'd better hurry along. Oh, no. If Mr Zoe sold out, it means no zing bars for us either. Oh, don't worry. We'll treat ourselves to something else instead. No, let's wait. He'll get some more in soon. I might even get a prize wrapper too. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> I don't think this has been cleaned out for years. Hmm. <sighs> there, that's the last of the litter. And I got more than you two, so I win. Wow, Zoo, you got loads. You certainly did. <laughs> Oops, I missed a bit. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Grandpa, look, I found a prize wrapper. They're giving away some brilliant things. There's a robot and computer games, 
and a train set and oh oh a Zola doll. Zola doll? Zoo? I think you found Zinnia's zing wrapper. It might be hers, Grandpa. But it says there's other prizes, not just a doll. It could be anyone's. Do I have to tell her I found it? Well, Zinnia lost a Zing prize wrapper, and you found one. No. Oh. I think it's only fair that you let her know. If she found something of yours, you'd want her to tell you, wouldn't you? I suppose so. But you could win this great robot and a train set. All lovely prizes, but so's the doll. Yes. I would like to get that train set, though, or the robot, but it wouldn't be fair to Zinnia if I got one with this wrapper. No, Zoo. Let's go and tell Zinnia we found it. Well done. It's not always easy <laughs> to do the right thing. Here you go. Give her a call. Thanks, Grandpa. <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you, Zoo. You're welcome, Zinnia. <laughs> Well, I'm pleased you got your wrapper back, Zinnia. But dropping litter isn't very clever. <laughs> Look at all the rubbish I've collected today. I didn't drop it. I mean, it must have been an accident. You should have been a bit more careful, hmm. Zinnia. To be fair, Zina, the wrapper was in Zinnia's pocket. And we've told her what we think about littering. Thoroughly bad habit. It's all very well to tell that to Zinnia, but maybe you should pay a little more attention to your own words. I mm. saw you dropping litter in the street on your way to your shop mm. this morning. <gasps> Xavier, <laughs> you've been littering? Of course not. Mm. I, I mean, well, I might have done mm. by mistake. It didn't look like a mistake to me. Daddy? Mm. If I did, it was an <sighs> accident. I was aiming for the bin. And you didn't pick it up when you missed, did you? I was in a hurry. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Zinny Pops. That wrapper must have fallen out of your pocket in the car. I tidied it up and I must have thrown it away by mistake. And then it got blown into the park by the wind. Well, perhaps you can make up for it by joining the clean team. A very good idea, Mrs. Zolly. Littering. <laughs> But the shop. I've got things to do with Zinnia the... Zinnia and I will manage, won't we, Poppet? Yes, Mummy. Now, we'll get back to the shop after we've picked up your dolly from nice Mr Zoe and we'll leave naughty Daddy to do a bit of tidying up. But I... I was... Uh... <laughs> oh, my word, is that the time? <laughs> the judge of the tidiest town competition will be here soon. Oh, I hope we win. Me too. I think it's all looking good and tidy now. Yes, and thanks, Uncle Xavier. You're a brilliant litter picker-upper. <laughs> there he is. Oh, here's hoping, Zoo. Sorry I'm a little late. My tour of the town took a little longer than I expected. But I have to say, I'm very impressed by what I have seen. <laughs> Winning the Tidiest Town competition is a great honour. Over the years, I've given it to many towns. And this year... Please let it be us. Having deliberated at great length the tidiness of quite a number of civic communities, I have come to a decision. <laughs> the winner of this year's Tidiest Town competition is... <laughs> Zebraville! Yay! 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 We did it, Grandpa! Oh, we certainly did! All that hard work paid off! Well done, <laughs> all of you. Hi, my name is Zola. I want to be your friend. <laughs> Hello, Zola. I'm Zoo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Zinni is really pleased with her Zola doll, Grandpa. I'm glad I gave her the zing wrapper. So am I, Zoo. You did absolutely the right thing. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Grandpa.
And I'm proud of our town for winning this! <laughs> yeah! Footprints. Wake up, Pork! Come on, we're going to play in the snow. Elsie's here, Bizu. Hi, Zoo. Do you want to come and play outside? I'm all ready. Are you coming too, Pock? Well, OK. You stay here in the warm, then. Let's go! So, what do you want to play? Let's have a snowball fight! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Remember yesterday? <gasps> oh, yes. Mrs Zolly said that snowballing is not a good idea. Someone could get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we build a snow zebra? Mm. We made one yesterday. <sighs> so what are we going to play? <laughs> Footprints. Footprints? What's that? Um, it's a game Grandpa told me about last night. He used to play it when he was little. Wait here. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay, Pork, you can stay warm inside. <laughs> play table tennis in the snow? Where's the table? <laughs> We're not playing table tennis. We're going to play footprints. Um. One of us puts the ball in the snow and the other one has to find it. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Ah, but because it's white, it's really hard to spot. Hmm. No, it isn't. It's easy. <laughs> Not when you know the rules. Come on. <laughs> Mum? Bizu? Mum, can we go to the park? We're going to play Footprints. Footprints? Oh, can I play too? Oh, yes. Oh, and Elsie's here as well, eh? In that case, she'll need a partner. Um, Elsie, do you think your mum would like to join us? <laughs> So, how do we play this game of yours, Sue? It's Grandpa's game, really. Well, we form two teams. Me and Sue, and you and Elsie. The first team makes the footprints. The other team has to follow. And on the way, the footprinting team drops something white in the snow. The table tennis ball. <laughs> and if the second team finds the ball, once they've caught up with the first team, they win. <laughs> Brilliant! Can Mum and I be the trackers and lookers? Yes, so we get to make the prints. Sounds good to me. So, you count to a hundred. One, two, three... And off we go! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Hello! Hello, Sue. Hey, Grandpa, I've got an idea. Oh, have you? Clever idea of your zoo. Just one set of footprints now. They will think I've disappeared. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, I've got an even better idea. Oh, 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 and what would that be? Let's go to the garage. 199, 200. Let's go. This should be easy. <laughs> we'll soon find them. Their footprints are easy to follow. <laughs> but, Zoo, you haven't dropped a ball yet. And they'll find us in here straight away. My footprints lead directly to us. Hmm. We're not staying in here, Grandpa. Can you get that plank, please? Oh, 
<laughs> hey, here we go. And I'll use this. Now that is what I call cunning. <laughs> we won't make any footprints walking along the plank. Let's go towards the house. We can hide around the corner. There. <laughs> gotcha, Zoo. can fly, Elsie? No, of course not. But where? Maybe he's on Grandpa's shoulders. Or maybe he's walking in Grandpa's footprints. That's sneaky. Come on, Mum. <laughs> 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 They'll never find it. We might not have found the table tennis ball, Mum, but we found Sue. Look! Found you! Huh? Zoo? from here and we'd better go back the way we came oh where can they be don't worry Elsie we'll find them oh grandpa I think I might have been a bit too clever hmm. oh we made things too hard for them they could be in the park for ages looking for us oh. Ooh. yes they might hmm I think we should go out and find them and explain. <laughs> That's a very good plan, Zoo. So, where could they have gone? Elsie! Huh? <sighs> <laughs> uh, hmm. So then, we used a plank and a doormat to get across the garden. <laughs> Without leaving any tracks. Yes, so, well, we... We sort of cheated. Um, I'm really sorry for being so sneaky. <laughs> you certainly fooled us. And we didn't find the ball either. Where did you drop it? Well, you didn't come far enough into the garden to find it. We dropped it just, uh, oh. <laughs> Looks like I fooled myself as well. I can't find it. Oh. Don't worry. It was only a table tennis ball. It's not that. It's just I wanted to go at making footprints and dropping the ball and... Uh, you can. I've got another one in my bedroom. Come on. <laughs> it's just over here near my... <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pock. It's not as cold as all that. Oh. <laughs> Puck, you found our ball. <laughs> Puck, did you think it was an egg? Oh, poor Puck. We got the egg. The egg? <laughs> Puck found the ball where Zoo dropped it. <laughs> he thought it was an egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So that's where it got to. So now it's your turn to make a trail. And this time... 
Pog's coming with us. It might be cold, but he doesn't want to make any more mistakes. Come on, Elsie. Let's make a trail that's as hard to follow as Zoo's. Yes. <laughs> and no peeking. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Zoo and the Zebra Town match. <laughs> it's all right, Zack. The match doesn't start for a while yet. Yes. Save your energy for cheering. Come on, Zebra Town! <laughs> Greatest volleyball team in the world! Well, in the town, anyway. This is the best birthday present I've ever had. Quick, I don't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <gasps> Where is everyone? Uh, Mr Zoe, are you sure they're supposed to have the match here? Yes. That's what it says on the tickets. All their home games are played here. Oh, dear. It looks as if no-one told you. Told us what? Most of the players on both teams have come down with flu. We've had to cancel the game. Oh, oh dear. But it's all right. You can still use the tickets when they reschedule it. But it's my birthday. It was my birthday present. Oh, I am sorry, Zach. So what do we do now? We can't just go home. Zach's been looking forward to this for ages, haven't you? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe Zach can have his volleyball match after all. Afraid not. Like I said, the players are all too ill. Yes, I know they're poorly. But we're not, are we, Zach? Uh, no. And the court's free, isn't it? All we need is some more players and we can have a match of our own. <gasps> That's a brilliant idea! Go on. How about it, Zowie? Well, I have to close up soon. But if you can get enough players together by six o'clock, the court's all yours. Yay! Thanks, Zowie! Come on, let's go and find some volleyballers. Yay! <laughs> We'll soon find some people to... Hey, look! Uh, Zorosta, mm -hmm. would you like a game of volleyball? It's my birthday. Oh, jolly good. Happy birthday, Zach. But as to volleyball, sorry, no can do. I'm already late for a rendezvous with Zygmunt. Another mm. time... Another time won't be my birthday. Don't worry, Zach. We've got plenty more people to ask. Oh, my family. They're all volleyball fans. Yeah! Hello. Hello, Mr Zoe and Zach. I didn't expect you all back so soon. Is the match over already? Mm. No, it got cancelled. Everyone's got flu. Oh, what a shame. So Zowie said we can organise a game ourselves. Do you want to play? I'd love to, Bizu, but I've got to wait here for the delivery men to bring the new dishwasher. Oh, so how about Dad? Could he come? Afraid not. He's taken Grandpa and Grandma to the DIY store. <sighs> it's just not my day. We're not giving up yet, Zach. Mum, how about Uncle Xavier and Aunt Zelda? Do you think they would play? Well... You could always ask them. <laughs> Come on, let's go and see. <laughs> uh, well, it's most kind of you to ask, Zoo, but I am rather busy at present and uh, I don't have my sports gear with me. Uh, but you could always borrow something from Zowie. I don't really think it'd fit me and I can't really play in this suit, can I? I think we could manage without you for one uh... day. Besides, you could do with the exercise, dear. Oh! <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, count me in! Yay! Oh, brilliant! Thanks, Uncle Xavier. Mm. But I won't be doing any jumping. <laughs> My suit. So, that makes four of us. Can I play, Zach? Of course, Cynthia. That makes five. But not volleyball. Badminton. <gasps> oh, 
It won't be much of a game if your uncle won't jump and Zinnia plays badminton. Hmm. Zinnia, it's Zach's birthday and he'd like to play volleyball. Oh, but badminton's much more fun. It'll make his birthday really special. Oh, we'll sort everything out at the gym. We just need one more player and we'll have two teams of three. Yeah! Too many for badminton. Come on, Zinny Pops. Like Zoo says, we'll sort it out on the way. <gasps> Look! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Ollie. We're having a volleyball match for my birthday. Would you like to play? Oh, I'd love to, Zach. But oh, I've got a rather stiff shoulder at the moment. I can only lift this arm. And you need both arms for volleyball. Oh, you do, Zach. I'm so sorry. But happy birthday anyway. Thanks, Mrs Ollie. I hope your arm gets better soon. Oh, thank you, Zach. Oh, who else can we ask? Hmm. Elsie, come on. <whistles> oh, I don't think anyone's at home. Oh, dear. Hmm. But if Elsie's not here, I think I might know where she is. <laughs> there she <laughs> is. What did I say? Hello. Hello, Zoo. Elsie, we're having a volleyball match for Zach's birthday. And we need oh. one more person. <laughs> Would you like to play? Mum, can I? Of course you can. Mm -hmm. I can manage the easels when I've finished. Happy birthday, Zach. Thank you. Hooray! Two teams of three. Yeah! Marvellous. It's nearly six o'clock. And if Zowie thinks we're not coming, he might close the gym before we get there. Hmm. <gasps> Could I borrow those? Of course. <laughs> I'll go tell Zowie. We're on our way. I'll come with you. Hurry, Zoo! Go on, Zoo! Go! Here we are. Zowie, you know you said... I was just about to close up. I didn't think you'd be coming back. Well, we did. And we got two teams. Can we still play? Of course. <laughs> oh, but a bit of a problem. I haven't got any volleyballs for you to play with. The teams were supposed to bring their own. Oh, oh no. 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 It's OK. Wait here. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ta-da! We can't play badminton. There are too many of us. We're not playing badminton. I've just invented a new game, Volleymonton. Hey. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> yes! Have fun. Zoe, mm. do you want to play too? Just got one little job to do. I'll be right back. In the meantime, enjoy yourselves. Yes! yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> suit but who cares he shoots he scores point to me <clears throat> i mean us <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well played, 
Hooray, Zach! Hooray! Yay! 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 Yay!